One of the reasons why you are addicted to gambling or why you're addicted to smoking or any other drugs is because of dopamine. What is dopamine? Dopamine makes you satisfied. It's a chemical in your brain that does some magic in your brain and you feel good. Now when you go and gamble and you know you put money on red color on the roulette and then the red comes, there is this happiness and excitement. And that moment your brain is releasing this uh, chemical called dopamine. And this is the reason why you're addicted to almost anything. Not the only reason, but one of the biggest reasons. So you chase this feeling for any type of drug. And over the time, this feeling becomes less and less satisfactory. So, for example, you put money on red color. In the beginning, you put, I don't know, 50 bucks and then it, it, came, it was red and you win some money. Now the dopamine is released and you feel good about it. If you repeat this process over and over again, the satisfaction slowly goes away and it fades away. Therefore, leaves you that you want you want to get that feeling back that you feel you feel excited. So what do you do? You just raise the stake. You raise the money that you put on the red, and now it's it's more satisfying if you're winning hundred bucks and you're doubling it to two hundred bucks. Our brain gets used to the satisfaction level that we are giving it to. And then it asks for more and more and more. But I have a good news. It also can be decreased again to zero. And if you can manage this, your addiction will be less harmful, so to say. If you don't go back to casino, you don't play the roulette and you're not gambling, now this chemical is slowly recovering in your brain. And then the next time you go, let's say you didn't gamble for two weeks, and the next time you go, this feeling of 50 bucks, it comes back and it makes you excited again. So that is the most common reason why we say that, okay, okay, I'm not gonna go and gamble with a lot of money so I don't lose it. Even the small amount is enough. After a break, you know, so if you take a break for one month and you didn't gamble, and then this, thought comes to your brain that okay you know what actually just hundred bucks I will go to the casino and I will play it and that's it even if I lose that's no big deal because you know that even with that little money after a one month break your dopamine has recovered and that is gonna give you that satisfaction and then of course what happens again the next day you want to get that feeling again because you have reminded yourself how good that feels and, and then you're chasing again and again and again. But eventually you are chasing that feeling. And this is the problem in many, many, many addictions. Smoking is the same thing. You just take the physical part of addiction out of it, which is the nicotine in your blood. What happens is that brain chemical that, you know, when you take the cigarette, you, you fire it up and before you take a puff, that's when the chemical is released. That's why many times the whole process gives you that satisfaction. Not, not the nicotine itself, of course it is also addictive and the nicotine, that is why smoking has two sides, which is the physical part and the psychological, which I always talk about on this channel. The psychological part is the dopamine related. Now, for example, social media, many people think that social media is not, not an addiction. It's not a real addiction, but it is without physical part of it because you don't take anything into your blood with using social media, but you have the psychological part, which is the dopamine. The same thing with watching porn. That's a huge one because when you're watching porn, and that, that, you, that gives you that satisfaction and your brain is releasing this dopamine and after some point it's not enough. So you watch even more hardcore porn or even something, you want more and more satisfaction while you get used to it and you're not, you're not getting uh, enough dopamine in your brain. I just want to bring an awareness to you and to public but you can get this dopamine from something else, some other activity. It can be sports, it can be something fun that you're hanging out with your friends, it can be even drinking alcohol, which you have to be careful with. But you can replace one addiction with the other just by tricking your brain into, into this satisfaction that, okay, I'm not getting it from gambling, 
but I'm getting it now from, from some other addiction. And eventually you want to eliminate completely. That is why we have to be always careful, which are addict type of people, not to overdo these things because even like eating chocolate, it gives that dopamine release and I get so, so, so satisfied with this. I want to eat more and more and more chocolate. That's why a dick type of people have to be very, very careful and always keep in mind to control your uh, dopamine release. Thanks for watching. I hope you share this with your friends who have to know about this uh, topic and uh, see you in the next one.